Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alex, and this time we're gonna have a detailed overview of profile fields. Let's begin. Profile fields are located at Administration Profile Fields. They contain various information about a user. All profile fields belong to two sections contact information and billing or shipping addresses. Users can fill those fields out when registering an account in their profile or at checkout. You can make some of the fields mandatory. On the Profile Fields page you can add new fields and add existing ones. To add a new field, click the plus button. Profile Fields settings require some explanation, so let's go slowly one by one. Description is actually a name of a new field as it appears on the storefront or in the admin panel. Field name is the character sequence unique for each profile field. It serves to identify the field and can be used as a variable in the document editor. So, it's actually an identifier rather than a name. Position The position of this profile field on the list relative to other fields. The type of the profile field It determines what kind of values can be entered or selected in the field. If you choose radio group or multiple checkboxes, you'll have to specify the possible variants on the Variants tab. Be aware that once you create a profile field, you won't be able to change its type. Section determines whether this field is a part of contact information or billing and shipping addresses. User Defined CSS class allows you to assign a custom CSS class to this field. Display and make the field mandatory during creation process. Just tick to less settings. That's it about settings, now let's see what we can do with all these fields. This is the ordinary registration page. Let's change its look by enabling one and disabling other fields. We return to the Profile Fields page and tick both checkboxes for first name and last name at the Profile column. Also, we tick one checkbox for the company and the phone fields. So, now on the registration page we have two mandatory and two additional fields. Mandatory fields are marked with a red star. The same thing can be done to checkout. For example, we disable a part of fields for the shipping address. This way, billing and shipping addresses stop matching and have to be filled manually one after another. To sum it up, you can tweak profile fields to receive only information that you really need. But there is more. Recently we've added profile fields support into our new document editor. And that's how it works. If a profile field appears at checkout, its identifier from the field name property will also appear in the document editor among other variables. The field can be found in the user group of variables. Simply click on the field name and it will be added to the place where you last left the mouse pointer in the document template. To finish this overview, we would like to warn you that deleting a profile field will also remove the data that users entered in the profile field before. If you don't want that, just hide the profile field as described above. And that's it about profile fields in CS Card. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CS Card videos.